Howdy everyone, SOB here, and today we're going to talk about Fire at Will and whether it's still good at all. I mean, Fire at Will is something that people have always felt is just extremely powerful and that it needed to be nerfed heavily. Um, what people didn't realize is it wasn't necessarily Fire at Will's damage that needed to be nerfed, it was its interactions with things that needed to be looked into, which they have looked into and taken care of for the most part. So, what exactly happened to Fire at Will? Well, for one, it now no longer procs your stuff way too much, like your weapon procs. I'm pretty sure a lot of people saw a lot of DPSers running a single Herald AP beam and a single Delphic one. The reason for that is because Fire at Will was procking things so much that just with the one weapon, you could get procs off of just those single beams up enough in a run to make him worth using. It's crazy how much it overprocked things. So that's gone. That means that if you want your weapons to, you know, proc, you need to be running a full set of whatever it is. You can't just run the one beam anymore and expect it to work. So that's a change that was needed. It sucks, and it shows just how much most weapon procs suck, um, which I think is a failure, which I'll, I might cover in another video. Um, but the damage portion of Fire at Will was also hit. Now, I can understand this. It, you know, it sucks a little. And what we've seen is anywhere from a 20 to 30% hit on the damage from Fire at Will. So, if you look at a parse on Holodeck where you have, say, 100k from Fire at Will, you can expect to lose 20 or 30k of that. They're somewhere around there. Now, most of our testing we did with Fire at Will was before they did the recent GDF changes, so it's possible it may end up being not as much of a hit, but that's to be determined because we can't get enough testing done on Tribble. So that'll be one thing that waits until we actually are testing it on Holodeck. So they also tossed on a accuracy debuff for Fire at Will. This mostly affects PvP. If you're playing PvE content, you don't really need to worry about this. In our testing, we did manage to do the 50% accuracy debuff that Fire at Will 3 gets. Resulted in us dropping down to 98 or 99% hit rate in maps like ISA. So I think just getting your weapons up to epic and getting that accuracy slash damage mod is going to be enough for most people. Now, in PvP, though, that is significant, and it was very noticeable how much you were missing things. So, yeah. And to summarize this all up, Fire at Will is still very potent. Is it the most potent option? We don't know yet. I personally think that cannons with Cannon Scatter Volley are probably going to be the thing that take the top spot now, because they were already pretty close on holodeck, but I guess we'll find out when we've actually had time to test. So thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for more videos on various topics, and if there's something that I haven't discussed yet that you want me to discuss, leave it down in the comments down below, and I'll see if I can get around to it, but no promises right now because I am still busy with my finals for my college classes.